Hi, I'm Chris McLennan. Today I'm at Murawai on a photo shoot. I'm going to be shooting inside a cave. I shot him after as of a ballerina in the air. It's a very dark environment, so I'm going to be using the Arnold Viper transmitter to remotely control three different sets of speed lights. The Viper is a wireless group flash trigger for Canon cameras. With the Viper mounted on my camera, I can remotely fire my speed lights for each group set on a different channel, allowing me to adjust the power levels individually. The LCD screen on the Viper shows the status of each group, which I can turn up, down or off, all from the Viper. Or I can select M to control any of the flashes manually. Today I'm going to be firing a speed light into an umbrella to light the front of the dancer, another one from behind with a warming filter to provide some rim lighting, and a third diffuse speed light towards the roof of the cave to give a little bit of detail to the rock walls. I'm going to need to use different output settings for each speed light. We run some test shots to make sure we have the dancer's position right, and then we're all set to go. Okay, I'm just going to adjust this, this light quickly. The beauty of the Viper is that it's so quick and easy to adjust the different output levels of the speed lights and all without having to move from my camera. Okay, we're going to go again. This allows me maximum ease and flexibility with my lighting to quickly get the shot that I'm after. In addition, the Viper transmitter has a pass-through flash hot sheet. This allows full TTL control of a local flash just as if it was directly mounted to the camera body, or you can add a tough TTL to control a fourth speed light group. As I take my shot, the Viper sends a wireless signal to each of my flash groups, causing them to fire up the settings that I've set for each individual channel. It really is as easy as ABC. Now I've got the exact shot that I was after.